hello, my name is Kwanele Finch Tusi, uh, and I'm the director and choreographer for Bina. Bina is a contemporary dance piece. It is partly contemporary and partly performance art. Um, right now, I am performing the piece, uh, which is 45 minutes long. I'm performing it in South Africa, and which is where I'm from. And I'm also performing it in other parts of the country, like Paris, uh, which I perform in June. And I also perform in Amsterdam, Utrecht, uh, Stockholm, Sweden, which is going to be later in the year in September, for a festival called Afro Vibes Festival. Okay, so Bina is divided into three parts. Um, I've broken it down in terms of performance, what kind of performance I'm presenting in a certain festival um, or for a certain event. So Bina has a solo, it has a duet, and then it has a visual, uh, doc, uh, a visual archive which can be uh, displayed in galleries and museums and so forth. And basically, the solo is all about my own struggles with identity um, when it comes to the aspects of religion and sexuality or masculinity. And I've always kind of questioned all of these systems that have been put in place to, you know, make this person who I am. And so you would find that in the beginning of the solo, <clears throat> Um, the subject, which is me, um, you know, all of the audiences, they enter this space, which is, which is a very sacred space. And they enter the space trying to understand who is the subject. You know, I'm, I'm right in the center, I'm, in, in, I'm covered in white, and I'm covered in pigs, which is um, pigs that I used to use you know, when I was told when I was young that you need to use these pegs for the washing line, so they're all brightly colored, you know, and, and so you have this very beautiful figure who, which looks like it's, it's, out, of the th it's out of nowhere um, in a very dead and empty space. So on stage, you have the empty figure and you just have one spotlight. And, and, and the beginning is all about trying to figure out the language um, of the piece or the language of, of, of this subject, uh, of this person, of this body on stage. As it moves into the second layer of the piece, the, the, the subject or the language becomes much more audible through voice and through sound which, which I make. And that sound is so interesting because when I was growing up, I remember there was one um, instance where we were slaughtering a cow for an African ceremony at home. And I remember this internal cry coming out of like almost like the pipes when it was almost dead. And it's just, uh, 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 and it just kind of fades in and I'm like, that cry for me or that voice or that <clears throat> sound was so important for me to kind of digest when I was growing up and now to present to the entire world.